welcome, welcome to what is real. Today our topic is about the cities named Inglewood. There are a total of seven cities, and I'm pretty sure there's more I just didn't come across, that are named Inglewood, and two of them start with the I, and those are in California and Nebraska. And the rest of them are Chicago, Colorado, Ohio, Tennessee, and Kansas, and those all start with the E. And it's crazy how seven of those are hoods and ghettos. And they all have the same street names, like Brown Street, Hawthorne Street, Martin Luther King Boulevard. It's very similar. They're all very similar neighborhoods with the same things going on. It's basically the same thing as when the Indians were murdered and the rest of them were put in Oklahoma. This is where they put the urban crowd and made them test subjects for drugs, literally. Whatever new, whatever, whatever new drug came in, send it to these places, let them test it out, and whatever works, boom, that's what they're selling to the rest of the world now. And they try to cover it up and make it look a little bit more like they cared by giving welfare and giving housing assistance and food stamps and stuff to make it seem like, oh, they care and they're helping. But really, it's just, it's just all a big game. It's all a big game. So it's just about time to start playing the game differently. It's about standing up and wanting more. More out of life and more out of yourself. You don't want to be somebody's test subject. Hell no. All this energy that's being used in their game to help them out, put that energy into yourself and find out what you can do to get out. Same thing, same energy. It just takes a little bit more effort. That's the only difference. It's not as easy as their game is. They're, that's why it's, their game is so easy because they're trying to keep you there forever. Start asking yourself the right questions. Truly ask yourself the question. Really believe in yourself when you ask that question. Like, what can I really do to get out? And you'll be surprised how quickly an answer will come for you. Yes, it will choose you. That's how it works. These ideas are just floating around looking for people that want them. Really. Who can handle them. So thank you for listening. So I'm Mo Rich, I'm the host, and if you guys want to be a guest or send some music, songs, instrumentals, or get to know me, or just say what's up, or whatever, um, just contact the social networks or email the Gmail, and we'll be right back with our first guest. So let's get this started.
What are your toughest challenges that push you to strive for success? Toughest challenges? Well, one of them, the primary one is doing everything by yourself. That's one of the primary ones because what I learned is you can't do everything by yourself. You gotta have a team, you gotta have a coalition. Even if it's just two other people, it makes a big difference besides doing everything by yourself. So that's one of the toughest challenges for me, for me to keep pushing and striving to get to Six Sigma in the business. So business. Yeah, I know everything about that. Six Sigma away from your success, so that's one of the biggest challenges for me, man. But that's what's up. Yeah, man, that's where I'm at with it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Twitter is at follow Tony Stacks. That's T O N Y S T A X X. Uh, the Instagram is King Tony Stacks. Facebook Tony Stacks. YouTube Tony Stacks. Google Tony Stacks. Uh, my website is Money Brothers Supreme, and that's uh, Money Brothers plural. Um, man, that's really about it, man. Just, just Google it. I'm on there. YouTube. I'm on there. Facebook. I'm on there. Everywhere. My SoundCloud. Tony Stacks. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right, guys. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi to the Dewey Decimal System and a six-hour documentary on the history of yarn. There, that should put anyone to sleep. June, pistachio. guys welcome back welcome back to the mystery box today we have mr will go pokemon go that's why we're here in downtown fort worth <laughs> that's the only reason to be here <laughs> yeah we got we got wild dragonite wild charizard wow. we're level 30 in here team instinct gotta represent wow so hey if we're gonna keep it real we gotta keep it real i just wanted to man. stop and say hi give a shout out to the mystery box thank man. you sir but thank got you, a text man. and i got to <laughs> All right, man. Yes, appreciate it. it. Hey, but you have a good night. Thank For you, sure. Muhammad. Thank you, hey, Will. Keep it up on the channel. Man, good luck to you out there. I appreciate it, man. All right, have a good one, brother. Cheers. Thank you, man. I'm out. All right, All right guys. guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Mystery Box. Today we have Mr. Takoy and Caesar. Go. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, this is Takoy. This is my man, Caesar. What's up, guys? Hey, hey. Uh, so we're just out here fundraising. Uh, we have a Christian home uh, about kind of close to the stockyards is about three three four blocks right mm -hmm. yeah um and so what we do is, is we raise money to build a foundation in christ for drug addicts gang members uh down and out depression anxiety you name it uh we have free homes for them it's not a rehab it's not a shelter it's a it's a free program six months too queremos decirle que todas las personas que necesitan ayuda pueden venir aquí a victory temple ministries no le cobramos nada 100% gratis tenemos un hogar de hombres y un hogar de mujeres Rescatando almas para Cristo. And so we're just out uh, spreading the word. Uh, our homes are actually free. They're, it's growing. We have a home in Chicago too as well. Uh, God is really moving in this ministry. Uh, I was a heroin addict and I got set free through through this home and through the blood, the blood of Jesus and the love of Christ. And so. Yo tenía todo tipo de adicciones y gracias a la sangre de Cristo estoy libre. Cuando nos vean levantando fondos es para una obra misionera. And so we just out, uh, we have fresh baked loaves, uh, a banana bread, they're $5 a loaf. Uh, you know, if anybody would like some, visit our website at victorytimbleministries.com. Uh, we have homes uh, on the north side of Fort Worth, kind of by the stockyards. And um, we also have church at River Ranch um, every Sunday, 9.30, uh, prayer, 10 o'clock, worship. Estamos rescatando almas para reino. Dios me los bendiga. Thank you, Jesus. God bless. Guys, okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, man, all good. Welcome back, everybody. Today, our MCM is Mr. Andrew Carnegie. He moved to America in 1853 from Scotland. He started working in a manufacturing plant for $1.20 a week, which is roughly probably about $175 to $200 today, maybe. As he was working, his entrepreneur mind just started taking over, and he began investing in many different avenues and he was seeing massive returns to where he can actually make legitimate moves that can make a difference. 
So he fell in love with the steel industry, and that's where he made his name. He started creating manufacturing plants throughout the entire country and showing them easy and clean processes on how to handle steel. So he mastered it, and that's why he is known as the Steel God. I mean, that's not his nickname, but you know what I'm saying. So it just shows that, you know, hard work, once again, pays off. We all have to start somewhere, regardless of what the pay is. And we just have to keep grinding. And if we are moving with the correct intentions, then we will find our true love that will push us to the top. So thank you. So I'd like to give a shout out to all of our guests and participants. We really appreciate it. Everybody have a great Tuesday. See you guys on Wednesday. And one last thing. I don't want the itches, I want the riches. That pussy type of she's soaking. I'm sipping, drinking, she's smoking. My schedule is hardly open. She know the money, my focus. She keep in touch while I'm touring. She know the women I lure in. But she on trip, never get no lift. Till she suck a dick in that pouring. See, Shotty ain't looking for commitment. Shotty just wanna have fun. She been searching for a wild boy, real nigga. Fuck around and came across one. She giving me all of her love and affection, attention, the time, and she cook me a meal. The kind that your granny might make you on Sunday. But honey, gonna do it in panties and heels. For me, this is so good, I should pay for it. I'm there at the drop of a dime. It couldn't get any better if I pray for it. Gotta thank Lord that she mine. We aren't interested in being arrested. So we never stress when we spending our time. I cherish her presence. To me, it's a blessing. Don't ask any questions that be out of line. It's more than just sex when we hooking up. Can't disregard all that big old butt. Couldn't fit all that ass on a pickup truck. When she throwing it back, I don't get enough. I can make her my girl, it might take a while. I can't give her the world, but I make her smile. I could keep her from work, but that ain't my style. That's cause I know a work, I'ma make a crap. Let me know something, tell me how I feel like a real nigga. Girl, no matter what, I'ma deal with you. Hit me down, so I gotta make you feel special. Anytime I'm in town, I'ma chill with you. You've been there from the jump. Baby, tell me what you want. I can get it right now. Baby, you ain't got a stunt. Let me know something, tell me how I feel like a real nigga. Tell me how I feel like a real nigga. Tell me how I feel like a real nigga. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel like a real nigga. Tell me how I feel like a real nigga. Tell me how I feel like a real nigga. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel, girl. First two rounds are all you. These next four rounds are on me. How the bed was rocking, got the neighbors knocking, asking how the hell we gon' sleep. They getting irritated, but I tune it out. All I focus on is when she poke the booty out. She don't think that I can last, baby, who you doubting? So I slap her on that ass till the shooter thousand. Bet that, now sucking that clip, she bout to climax. Biting the pillow, scratching my back. Clinching the sheets, gritting her teeth, curly in her toes, she shaking, that's that. Then I wrap her legs from my head like a crown and I wear it. Eat the pussy with a chair, yeah, I might be number one with my tongue. Don't you run, don't be scary. Ain't no need to be embarrassed if it's ever too much, baby, let me know. If I'm going too fast, I can take it slow. You ain't got a hold back, baby, let it flow. It don't matter, we can travel, where you want to go? Out of town, out of state, any time of the day, all you got to do is say and I'm going to make it happen. We can fly to a lake, go and chill on a lake, or whatever that it takes, I'm going to make you happy. Do it all on us, don't nobody need to know what's up. Whether love was lust, ain't nobody else business what it is that we doing in the dust. Sweet to keep it on the hush. We all have secrets and know when to keep them. You tell me y'all yours and I tell you all mine. Can't promise perfect, I'm always working. You know you come first when I ever get the time. Let me know something, tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Girl, no matter what, I'ma deal with you. Hit me down so I gotta make you feel special. Anytime I'm in town, I'ma chill with you. You've been there from the jump. Baby, tell me what you want. I can get it right now. Baby, you ain't got a stunt. Let me know something. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel about the real nigga. Tell me how.
how I feel a fuck real nigga. Tell me how I feel a fuck real nigga. Tell me how I feel, girl. Tell me how I feel.